Hello everyone, today we'll go over how to copy data to Zidara Cloud Storage Buckets using GSH Copy 360 Enterprise. Once you have your buckets created, you go to GSH Copy 360 Enterprise, open it up under the Jobs tab, right click and say create a new job. I'm going to skip the wizard. Give the job a label, a name basically, so Zidara Cloud storage bucket demo and then we go to where it says source type in this case we're going to be copying from a local disk but if we wanted to copy from another cloud provider let's say we're migrating from another cloud provider we can click on the drop down and select which cloud provider we ever want in this case we're just going to go ahead and local disk we can paste the path here if you wanted to or we can browse it in this case we're going to browse it down to see data click OK I'm going to check the box that says copy as root folder when you check that box it's basically going to create the data and then copy all the content below it if you don't check that box it's just going to copy the content below data so we're just going to check it now when it comes to where your destination where you want to copy to in this case since we're going to Zadara we click on the drop down select S3 compatible storage then before we browse, we want to specify the credentials that we're going to use against Dara to connect to it. So what we're going to do is we can click on the add sign and then we can go ahead and add the credentials we need. You'll need to give it a label, an S3 access key, a secret key, your endpoint, and then if, if you have signature version 2 or 4, I believe Zidara actually uses 2 and it supports both. And then in this case, it already uses path style. For the sake of this example, instead of taking time to type those credentials, we have them saved. So we're just going to go ahead and select it from here. I'm going to click on modify so you can see what it looks like. We called it Zadara account. We gave you all the credentials that we needed, the access point. This is obviously going to be different for you depending on where you are deployed and how you configure it. And we've got it set. So you can click on test. Connected successfully. Click save. Now we can go in and click with those credentials selected. We can click browse. We'll see bucket GS test. That's the bucket we have created. I'm going to click on the checkbox here so we can copy the data right there. If you had other subfolders, you can just check wherever you want to copy the data to. Click OK. And then set your different options. If you wanted the job to start at a specific time, you can do so. You can have it repeat every day, nightly, daily, hourly, and so forth. If you check this box to run as a service, then the job will run automatically in the background. You don't have to be logged in, nor you need to have the application open. I'm going to use four threads. Click Save. Now the job is created. To run the job, you just right click on the job and say Start Selected Job. The job should start momentarily. Right now it is queued, so we can click on where it says queued, so we can show the progress, or we can click on the progress here, so you can see it. You notice there are five, five, 15 files in there, and it's copying at 71 megabytes per second. So if you can convert that to bits, it would be eight times whatever you have here. So you have 100, so if you, eight times 100, so you have, you're copying at 800 megabits per second. Of course, it's going to fluctuate. This is going across the internet. We've seen Zedara go. It's one of the highest S3 compatible storage providers that we've seen throughput that we can get from. So far, it's been 37 seconds. The job is successful. We processed 2.6 gigabyte. Now, the job has been completed successfully. If you look at the job screen, You'll see here it's green. When it's green, that means it did not encounter any problems whatsoever. If it's red, that means we encountered at least one error or so forth. It could be a locked file or whatever the case may be. But that's an easy way to look at it. If you click on the lock file, you scroll down if you, if you did have errors, then you will see them listed under errors. We aggregate all the errors together so you can see which files we failed to copy and then you can rerun the job if you wanted to or fix those errors.
This is how you copy to Zedara Cloud Storage Buckets. Thank you for watching. And reach out to support at gurusquad.com if you have any questions. Thank you.